In this video, you're going to learn how to accurately track the impact of individual marketing campaigns using campaign tagging. Now, why would we want to use this? Well, we've seen in our source medium report that we can look at the source and the medium of our traffic. For example, that we've traffic from coming from Google and that it came organically via the search results. However, it's much harder to see if an individual email or an individual tweet or Facebook post really had any impact. And that is what campaign tagging allows us to do. And to really uh, create and capture that data and put it into Google Analytics, we need to use a tool called the URL Builder. So you can just type this into Google to find it. And this is a free tool from Google and essentially it helps us to put additional information onto the links that we might be sharing on Facebook or in an email or on Twitter and it contains this additional information uh, also known as UTM tags which we can see here where we actually define the source and the medium and their campaign name and then in our Google Analytics campaigns report this is where this information is going to show up. So this is the campaign name. And then in here we can see the source and the medium. So to set these uh, parameters and to make it sure it shows up in these reports with a campaign name, we need to use this tool called the campaign builder. So I've already filled this out and I'll just uh, walk you through an example of how you might use this. So let's say my website is example.com. Maybe I want to put a link in my monthly newsletter and see how much traffic and sales that results in. So I can just call the source newsletter. The medium is email. And I can just call the campaign name January sale. Now you can also put in a campaign term uh, if you have particular keywords that you're using. And you can type in something like version one, version two, if you were sending two different emails or you were trying two different types of ads. Those aren't required, but they are additional parameters that you can put in. Now, once you fill out that information, it's going to generate a tag or a URL like this. And just to show you, if I remove this, that you can see the URL here. Uh, and then if I add in the campaign name, that's going to show in the URL. So I want to copy this and then I want to paste this into my email that I'm sending out or onto a post that I'm sending on Facebook or Twitter, etc. If I want to track the individual impact of that campaign on my traffic, my signups, my revenue, etc. So now that you know how to track marketing campaigns with the URL builder, maybe go ahead to the URL builder and just set up a URL with some parameters for a campaign or example campaign that you might set up.